What we've done here is plasti gauge and measure our clearance for our rod or main bearings. We have not done the rods yet, but here we've got the crank inside the engine. This is a 454 Super Sport high performance engine bore 30 over. We got a nice cam in it. Uh, we've been having problems with uh, oil pressure. The other cam, I believe, or crank, excuse me, was, uh, I believe, warped. And this one uh, is a new freshly ground crank. Um, 30 on the 30 under on the mains, 20 on the rods, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, exactly how you get your clearances and how you measure them out. You usually, you typically want to start out with your center cap. You want to work it just like you were if you were installing it. So you want to make sure that everything's as clean as possible. I know that you're supposed to lube everything up before you know you install it. However, you do not want oil whenever you check your clearances uh, because it will give you an off reading. So uh, anyways, what we've done here is we've cleaned everything up. We've not lubed anything. You place your cap on and you torque it down. For instance, on this 454, I went from, I went to 25 pounds initial torque, worked it down to 60, and then I went to my uh, final step, which was 110 foot pounds of torque for each cap. I started from the center, Went to, went to the uh, second one back, then I went to the fourth one, then I went to the first one, and then you go back here to your thrust bearing. Now, whenever you get these down, you put your piece of plastic gauge in it, which generally comes just like this right here in a longer, you know, it's 12 inches uh, uh, a foot of plastic gauge, and you cut you off a section, which is a measuring section. Uh, Chevrolet's, of course, you want standard. You're not on the metric side, which is on the back. All right, and you can use the green ones too, but I like uh, the red ones I get, you know, they're more or less directly for Chevrolets. Your actual, on this crank right here, your clearances for a high performance engine, with this one being bore 30 over, you're going to want your clearances at somewhere around uh, uh, two and a half thousand, so uh, uh, 0 .0025. All right, on this one here, on this front one, we've actually got closer... Uh, to two thousandths, which is okay, so long as you're not down here in four, five, and six land. You know that depends on like if you're burning a nitrous engine. You know, yeah, you may want to be down in that level. This is not uh, a nitrous engine. We want good oil pressure and good reliability. So we're at uh, three in between three and two thousandths of an inch. So on this one here, we've got two thousandths, which is awesome. Uh, you know the the Factory spec is right around two thousandths. Uh, of course, this is a performance engine, so you want a little bit more play than that. All right, and the number two, as you can tell here, is right in between the three thousandths mark. If you can see it there, there we go. It's right in between it. And what basically all you do is you find your line like this after you've taken your main caps back off. Your line there, it will wipe off with some stuff. You always want to clean that off. If you do not clean it off then you've got some major problems. You can spin a bearing with that little piece that's in there and that's that blows my mind. But yes, you can spin a bearing to always clean this off. All right, our center cap, which was our first one, is just a hair bigger than the three thousandths, which would put us at uh, two and three quarters of a thousandths or two and a half thousandths of an inch. Then we go back here. This one right here, you probably won't be able to tell, but I measured it out. It is uh, actually three thousandths. And then our thrust bearing now, uh, we do have a little bit, it is a little small, but it, it is three, right at the three thousandths, which is acceptable. Three thousandths is acceptable, and that's what that mark there is, so that is most definitely acceptable. So, you, so that's how you measure your clearances and get your clearances. Now, ranges for different motors, different things, but so far from what I've done and all the engines that I've built, uh, you know, as far as Chevrolet's go, between two and three thousandths is perfect. It's exactly what you want to have. Same for your rods. Maybe you want, you know, uh, two, closer to two on your rods, but, you know, at two to three thousandths of an inch, you'll have great oil pressure. Warm up, you should have between 30. After it's warmed up at idle, you should have between 25 and 30, which is plenty enough, because rule of thumb on any, on any performance engine is 10 PSI per thousand revolutions. So every thousand RPMs, you want at least a minimum of 10 uh, uh, pounds of oil pressure. So 20, uh, 20 uh, pounds at 2,000, 3, uh, 30 at 3, so forth. 
Uh, and then the next next video we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set the torque uh, uh, or the thrust bearing on this uh, after I get my my crank cleaned up and and I'm going to lube the the bottom uh, uh, main bearings and then I'm going to set uh, the thrust bearing on this here. Show you how to set a thrust bearing and then we'll measure our rod clearances and then we'll be good to go to put this thing together so long as our rod clearances are appropriate. So that'll be it.